Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and today we're going to test the Phantom 4 obstacle avoidance. Now, obviously, always fly line of sight to be safe and responsible. Um, but does the obstacle avoidance really work? Now, that's something obviously you would never want to depend upon. You would never want to even assume that it may exist within your Phantom Force Phantom Force feature set because it could fail, and you shouldn't depend upon it. But with that being said, in a controlled environment. I want to test it. Let's see how well or how poorly the Phantom 4 obstacle avoidance works or fails. I'm using my iPhone 6 Plus as my viewfinder and my uh, iPod Touch for my FPV. Obviously, I'm maintaining line of sight to be safe. But let's see how this uh, obstacle avoidance works. So what I'm going to do first before I take off is I'm going to... Um, I think it may have to be toggled on and off within the app. Let me see. I think I recall seeing that as a... Okay, I went into intelligent flight. Let's see, that's not that's not where I want to go. It's in here somewhere. So I remember seeing an obstacle avoidance setting on or off. Um, so we're gonna see if we can find that. Because I mean, obviously to test obstacle avoidance, one would have to have obstacle avoidance toggled on. Okay, so what I did to ensure that it was on in your app, there's a little thing that looks like the controller towards the right of where it says safe to fly GPS in the middle. Click that controller thing, and then on mine, it's the second one down. It says visual navigation system. Turn forward obstacle, turn on forward obstacle sensing system. When forward obstacle sensors detect obstacle, aircraft will slow to a stop. Maximum speed using obstacle sensing is 22 miles per hour, 32, 35 kilometers per hour. So, so I've got forward obstacle avoidance sensing on. So let's uh, let's start recording here. Yeah, I'm going to get airborne. And probably what I need to do is position this so we can use the truck. So we can use the truck over here as the object uh, that we're trying to uh, to avoid. So let me take this camera back. Take this back here. So that's going to be our test object. Now I'm going to line the camera back up. <sighs> it is cold out here today, y'all. Unusually cold tropical weather. Okay, so let's get airborne. We can see the truck in the frame. Let's see what this does. <coughs> Excuse me. It's chirping right here. We're gonna see what this does. Give me an audible warning. Let's see if it'll even let me go closer to the truck. Let's back up and see if the audible warning stops. Because remember, I only 
turned on uh, front facing obstacle avoidance, which is where the truck is in relation to the panel. And it's saying in the app, it's saying visual system alert. Oh, I'm sorry, it's saying vision system error. Huh. What is this? Hardware, it says forward left vision sensor error. Hardware malfunction. Weird. Something's not right. Let's land it, take off again, let's power cycle it and see if this problem persists. Nothing's not right. What I did now to regain control, I just turned off. I went to that controller icon and I turned off the vision sensor. So now I don't have any sort of obstacle avoidance. Sorry, it was quite windy. I had to really challenge myself to land. So yeah, I was getting a, uh, and I'm gonna show you in my, it's still flashing up. It's bright enough to see. Let me push this here. Well, it's not bright enough. But what it says in the top in red, what's flashing by says forward vision sensor calibration error. So, in other words, something's not right. Let's power cycle it and see if anything happens. now is power cycling the uh, I didn't power cycle the the controller but I'm gonna do that too um, Low point has been updated. okay actually I didn't power cycle the controller so what I'm gonna do now on the controller is I'm gonna go back I'm, I'm selecting a little icon to the right of where it says safe to fly GPS it looks like a little controller icon and now I'm going back to the second thing it looks like a ball with some little dashes after it and I'm turning on forward obstacle avoidance system. So now that's on. Let's try again and see if whatever error was encountered has gone away. And I'm gonna tuck this uh, strap into the tripod here because it's flapping around. It's windy. Getting blown hard today. Well, sorry about this. There we go. Let's try this again. All I've done is power cycle the Phantom 4. And toggle the vision back on. The vision is that Okay, so the forward sensor is what 
I expect to have happen if this works. It should not run into my truck. So let's bring it over here. Okay, it's beeping. So it's acknowledging that it sees the truck. But will it go into the truck? Now, I'm not going to actually crash into it, but... Awesome! It's working like it should. See, if I try to push forward, it refuses to go forward. It'll go left and right. But now, let's go all the way to the front of the truck with the truck out of the way. And now it can go forward. So it successfully detected the presence of the truck and it would not hit it. So it did exactly what it should. It performed exactly as advertised. So now I'm gonna come at the truck from this other angle. Again, camera facing the truck. 7.5, 6.5 meters. I'm gonna go over here to make sure I don't <laughs> Hear that chirp right there? It's on the other side of the truck and it refuses to go forward because it knows the truck is there. And if you can see in the app, and I, you probably can't see it that well in the sunlight, but it's got the little caution thing acknowledging that it's there. Let's take it up a little bit, obviously a safe altitude. We can go over the truck because the truck's not that tall. But let's bring it back down and try to run into the truck. Okay, so what I'm gonna do this time is kinda gonna go forward and then I'm going to turn and see if it starts to pick it up. Check that out. It will not go forward. It'll go left and right. It'll go back. It'll go right. It'll go left. But when you try to go forward, because it sees the truck, It will not let me go forward anymore until I go away from the truck where there's no obstacle and then I can go forward. So that works extremely well. Actually, I am stoked at how well that works. I didn't expect it to. And what's even more interesting about it is that there's glass on the truck. So let's get it more towards the windows and see if that, if it's seen through that or if it acknowledges there's glass there. So I'm gonna get it right window level. It sees that glass, now will it see all glass? Huh, I don't know and I wouldn't recommend testing it. But this works. This works exceptionally well. Let's put her down because I have, this has exceeded my expectations. This is the first Phantom 4 feature that actually is has uh, really blown my mind. It really has. Yeah, that, that made me happy. Because when it failed the first time, I didn't expect it to, uh, to function. But just to recap, the first time I went through, you know, I powered on my Phantom, I powered on my controller, powered on my Phantom. You know, everything was greened up, good to go, safe to fly GPS, but it failed. But what I did, within my DJI Go app, I went into the little controller thing, first icon to the right where it says safe to fly GPS, and then I selected the little, looked like a ball with some little stripes to the right of it. 
and I toggled the the front vision sensor on and off and the act of doing that as you saw in the second portion of this video <clears throat> everything um, everything worked as expected it would not allow me to continue to fly forward because it saw the truck it saw the object and it did it, it, it wanted to avoid that object so it works it works and I am beyond stoked so that concludes the DJI Phantom 4 obstacle avoidance test uh, be sure to share this video with others subscribe I am freezing to death out here uh, youtube.com forward slash irix guy and check out all my phantom 4 videos I got a bunch of them now and I got thousands more coming soon so thanks for watching and y'all have a good day hey y'all irix guy here I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that helped me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.